Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Certified Football Six Box, half of an inner case. Pick your team number eight. That's the second half of the inner case that we popped open a little bit earlier today. This will be our last certified break for the time being. We may get some more, but with a lot of other big football releases coming up, maybe a minute or two before we see this again. Uh, Jay with quadruple last spot mojo picked up the Falcons the Giants, the Jets, and the Redskins all at once. So thank you very much. Quadruple last spot mojo. That's why he has those stars next to his name. We got Nick Jaspi on the Nick cam right up there helping us out. Thank you, sir. And Triple Threads is gone. Nice. Sterling is 10 and 10 now. Posted a team random. Perfect. So there's team so randoms for Bowman right. Sterling if you want to get into it. Bowman's best. I don't think I have to post one, but he's been at 14 all day. Yeah, and we still have those promo breaks uh, tonight only. If you want to add a little bit of break credit. The first two, we'll, we can do full break credit. Ooh. So, minus Contenders Draft. Right. Contenders Draft, since that's a six box, and then regular Contenders. All right, so there you go. Contenders Draft, I mean, you got Gardner Minshew coming out of the gate. You got Marquise Inch. Brown, who had a huge Inch. game. Uh, Josh Jacobs, who had a huge game. Love Hawkins. Josh Jacobs. TJ Hawkinson, you know. Love Josh Jacobs. He's fresh, too. He was barely used, and now they had, like, four running backs at Alabama, yeah, right? Like sad. Damian, Damian Will Harris, Harris yeah. who's on the Patriots now. So Josh Jacobs is fresh. I like it. And you got Kyler Murray, who had a comeback tie. Come Daniel back. Jones. Got some touches. He's, he was in. He was in there. He was in there. Who's the other, uh, Terry McLaurin for the Terry Redskins McLaurin had a great had a day, too. monster game against my Eagles. Yeah, they did all their damage first half, and then he it was just, just like nothing. thrashed the Eagles. And then, well, it wasn't his fault, or Ke Keenum's. Uh, Jay Gruden just stopped passing. He got so conservative against the Out Eagles. Out of 299. Jay Gruden more of an offensive guy? No, I don't. He's not a good head coach. Well, I mean, but like... But I think he's supposed to be more... Oh, okay. But I don't know. I don't Saquon know. for the Giants for Jay. Because I, I was thinking that, like, I'm sure, like, once he gets fired, John Gruden, is John, Gruden, John Gruden will pick pick up his brother, right? Isn't he more offense, John Gruden? Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah so he must be more defense. Then. Yeah, it's like Rex Ryan and Rob Ryan. There's Devin Bush. Who'd win in a fight, the Grudens or the Ryans? Ooh, what do you guys think? Grudens or Ryan? Ryans are much bigger. Remember that They're big video dudes. where the Ryans were in Hawaiian t-shirts and got in a fight at a bar? <laughs> <laughs> For the Panthers. Serenity. Like, I like do remember this. Tallahassee or something. <laughs> that was classic. There's Josh Allen to 25. Yes, indeed, Stephen K. It is sold out. There's Immortals. Devin Hester. And this guy coming up had a nice day. TJ Hawkinson. That's a nice patch for out of 499. He had an awesome game. 125 yards, like eight catches. Aaron Salinas with the Detroit Lions. And what, like two touchdowns this game? Trendsetter. Yeah, it looked really good. Like 20 something fans. Arthur might be big enough to drop one of the Ryans. <laughs> both, wait, Arthur, are you saying you could take both Ryans? I don't know, but. John One Gruden. of them you may be able to see. John Gruden's pretty great. Oh, yeah, there he is. Antonio Brown is, is, has some cards in Raiders gear. I just don't think he has hits in Raiders gear. I think gear. he will, though. You think so? Yeah. Oh, they already put into production, right? Probably. Like or something. I could see that happening. We got Marcus Davenport. Certified potential out of 25. Oh, Arthur just saying sweep the leg. He'll take both Ryans at the same time. Saints autograph that goes to Edwin. Unless they do that one where it's like all traded to the Patriots. Oh, right, right, right. Raise the banner for the Giants to 35. Lawrence Taylor. And J.J. Watt, who's kind of neutralized by the, by the Saints in that game, which is pretty exciting. That was an awesome game. That was a great game. Yeah. That was wild. Texans. Went 80 yards in two plays. All right, next one right here. 
We got James Conner, superb relic to two nine one ninety nine two ninety nine. That'll go to the Steelers. Scott V with his Steelers. Steelers need to regroup a little bit after their drubbing in New England. There's Jalen Ferguson for the Purple Birds, and we got Daniel Jones, new generation rally. He got a little taste of regular season action at the end of that game. Goes to Jay and the Giants. Yeah, you get a Doug team Baldwin. that you tend to draft for twenty nine ninety nine. Chance at the Cardinals, Lions, all That's those. That's not teams. bad. There's Adam Thielen to fifty. There's Zach Ertz. I think Zach Ertz had a pretty good game, right? Solid as always. Made some plays. David Montgomery needs to make some plays next week. Eighteen out of fifty. Yeah, because he looked good in like little moments. Yeah. Bears, Glenn, with the Bears. And then you can get vet autos and contenders draft Mahomes. Yeah, all that's on jazbeescaserace.com, folks. And a chance to win to break right. Baker, Mayfield, Lincoln, Riley, Alex Barnes to 99. Oklahoma head coach. And there's another bear, Roquan Smith, another one for Glenn. 14 out of 60. Bears defense look good. If the, if the uh, Browns lose to the Jets on Monday Night Football, do they fire Freddy Kitchens? Freddie Kitchens is not a good coach. That That's the concern. I think he's a good coach, not a head coach. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a huge difference, right? I mean, yeah. it's just like, I don't know, there's so many things you got to think about. I think they should go for I don't know how a head coach does it, to be honest. You think about that. you got to think about the time. you got to think about I think it. it's the toughest coaching job it's gotta in be. all sports. And you got to manage like 53 it's different baseball, people. Baseball managers don't do anything anymore. It's all analytics, right? Yeah. They're I mean, yeah, mostly. Like, they're kind of just like the face. I guess the heart of the team. But, and there's so many vets in baseball where, like, Albert Pujols, you know? Like, he's, like, a yeah. long-term leader. So, I mean, football is Dante Pettis. That was my big concern with the Browns. I was like, that coaching could be what, what kind of hurts that raw talent that's on that team. Fabric of the game to 299. Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Packers, Brian Langley. MPS. Yeah, he did. I don't know if that game was reflective of who they are, though. Either team? Yeah, either team. Do you think the Packers would be that good? Well, I mean, I think the, the I don't know, the both teams just look so bad. I was like, that can't be, Their you, can't, you can't use that as a, what are they going to do in week two, I feel like. Baker lost me against Joe. That's he Daryl Henderson. Yeah. I was nervous. I, th I thought Baker was going to go off for your team. Daryl Henderson uh, for the Rams. Tice with that one. We got Dante Pettis to 450. And we've got Jerry Rice Immortals to 50 coming into focus. And there's John Elway. Oh, we got trolled. We got Nick Bosa. Nice jumbo patch and autograph to 99 for the 49ers. Glenn with the Niners. And another Niner coming up. Looks like an old school Niner. And it's Brent Jones. 39 out of 60. Mirror signatures, another one for Glenn. Tommy, let, let's. I, I know you don't want to revisit this, but let's talk about the Steelers, man. What happened there? What happened? Tommy's a big Steelers guy. What the hell was going on? Didn't even look competitive. Just week one, like, rust. Just kind of, just timing was off. What was that? Stafford. Is this something we, we are worried about going forward with these guys? Tommy's like, I don't recall a time when we looked good against New England in general. Yeah, I guess so. And it, I guess there's just some teams that have your number. 275 to 499, Alexander Mattison, who had a pretty solid game uh, for Conrad and the Vikings. There's Josh Allen to 299. 
and carry on Johnson certified potential five out of ten I think did he have a I feel like I heard his name a little bit Aaron with the Lions Wow Tiggs saying Patriots 19 and0 timestamp that Wow. This is September 10th, 2019 on a Tuesday. We're about 10 minutes, 27 seconds into this video. Tiggs Nova, that's Bill saying, Pat's going 19 and 0. Certified gamers to 100. Bills, Dominic with the Bills. Arthur disagrees, Pfft, he says. There's Deontay Thompson to 399 for the Cardinals. And then we've got Bryce Love, new generation relic. Out of 299 for the Redskins. That goes to Jay. Yeah, Pats every once in a while have that have a weird clunker against when they go to Miami early in the season. I feel like they always I don't know. They kind of weirdly have the Patriots number for some reason. I could see them getting just smoked by the Ravens and then and then like I don't know winning on a weird last second play like last year <laughs> beat the Patriots alright two boxes to go it is interesting to see I mean that's why week one is so great because you can totally overreact but like what can you really take away anything from these games like what are the Ravens they're not going to, you know, Lamar Jackson's not going to throw five touchdowns a game. There's Christian Kirk, superb relic, to 299 for Jay and the Cardinals. But yeah, what are the Ravens? What's their, I don't know. I mean, Lamar Jackson looked good. That's the thing. He wasn't. I mean, he barely had any carries. Did he have one carry, three carries maybe? So he was throwing it. He was being being a quarterback. Kyler Murray, new generation relic to 299. I think Kyler Murray looked really good. Jay with the Cardinals. He's going to have a tough test on the road. I think going to Baltimore, I'm pretty sure. But that's going to be a tough task for him. But good challenge for him so far. So good. Lots of good things for Kyler Murray. It's good for the hashtag, good for the hobby. There's Kellen Winslow Sr. And AJ, I think AJ Brown. Ooh, look at that. That's the, the tit of Titans. Two out of 10. Easy, Joe. It's a family show. Ryan Redman with the Titans. A.J. Brown caught a touchdown. Nice out of 10. And there's the juice. O.J. Howard. 82 out of 99 mirror signatures for the Buccaneers. Scott with the Buccaneers. There's my homies, Patrick Mahomes to 450. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we can post that AJ Brown card on Twitter. That's we are we are a family program, ladies and gentlemen. We are a family show. Card feels a little different on the back for some reason. We got Hunter Renfro, three color patch and autograph to four ninety nine. I don't think we heard. I don't think he, I heard his number called too often during the game. But here you go, Ryan Redman. We got Karen Higdon to three ninety nine. And Miles Boykin. 
Nice patch. Nice autograph to 499 for the Purple Birds. Chad with the Ravens. We got Devin Singletary. New Generation Relic for the Bills. That goes to Dominic. Buffalo! There's Derek Henry to 199. Philip Rivers, Fabric of the Game, Relic to 299. That goes to Jeffrey and the Chargers. Chargers looked all right. A little bit of a leaky defense towards the end of that game, though. To 50. Just got to kind of shore that up. There's Irv Smith Jr. Relic to 199 for Conrad. Steelers need to get their act together. If they want to be competitive this season. There's Terrell Davis and Mortals to 399. Derek Carr had a pretty efficient game. Kenny Galladay to 450. Zach Ertz and Kid Reporters. And there you have it, boys and girls. Another great break of certified in the books. That was pick your team number eight from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Um, that's it for certified for the time being, but keep your eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com just in case it comes back. Uh, Spectrum Football drops on Friday, football fans, so take care of that, and we'll see you next time for the next break.